Geometry nodes in Blender are a tool for creating and changing 3D shapes using a visual system of connected blocks called nodes. Instead of editing models by hand, you build step-by-step -step instructions that generate or modify geometry automatically, like scattering trees or bending curves. Geometry nodes look scary. All those boxes, all those wires, most people open it once, then immediately close it. But here's the truth. Geometry nodes might be the most powerful thing Blender has ever added. And most people have no idea what it can actually do. Stay with me, because by the end of this video, you'll see it very differently. In this video, I'll show you what you can really do with geometry nodes. Not deep math, not complicated setups, just real, practical use cases that save time, unlock creative freedom, and make your 3D work feel professional. Even if you've never touched geometry nodes before, and there's one use case near the end that replaces hours of manual work with one simple setup. I'll get to that. Use case number one, procedural models. First thing geometry nodes are great at is procedural modeling. Procedural 3D modeling is a smart way in computer graphics to create 3D models and textures automatically. It uses computer code and set rules instead of building everything by hand. This makes it way faster, more flexible, and easier to scale up than old school manual methods. Instead of manually modeling every variation, you create a system, change a value, and the entire model updates. This is perfect for buildings. You create procedural cities or towers by instancing simple shapes like cubes on points, then adding random scales, rotations, and details. You start with a base grid, use instance on points to scatter building parts, and adjust parameters for height or style changes. Is also perfect for creating stairs. You build stairs by generating a curve or a line of points, then extruding steps along it with nodes like curve to mesh. Add loops for railings and randomize widths for natural looks, all controlled by sliders for easy edits. Four fences, divide a path into points and instance posts or rails between them using mesh to curve and instancing. Nodes handle repeating patterns with gaps, heights, and materials in one setup ideal for long stretches. Geometry nodes also perfect for sci-fi panels. Sci-fi panels use nodes to extrude, bevel, and scatter details like bolts or wires on a surface. Connect random value nodes to displace edges or add pipes, creating futuristic armor or ship hulls with procedural variety. You build once and reuse forever. Use case number two, environments and scattering. This is where geometry nodes really shine. Forests, rocks, grass, debris. Geometry nodes in Blender make it easy to scatter objects for environments. They replace old particle systems with flexible setups. You use key nodes to place rocks, grass, or trees on surfaces like terrain. Start with a plane for your ground. Add a geometry nodes modifier and connect these nodes. Group input to distribute points on faces, then to instance on points with your object collection. Join geometry keeps the base mesh visible. Control clipping with distance min and density max values. Randomize with noise textures for realistic variety. Nodes handle huge areas efficiently, better than particles. Add vertex groups to scatter only on slopes or flat spots. Pros use them for full procedural worlds in Blender 4.1 and up. Instead of placing objects by hand, geometry nodes handles distribution, scale, rotation, and randomness. The result? Natural looking environments without the manual pain. Use case number three, motion graphics and effects. Geometry nodes aren't just for static models. You could drive, animations, motion graphics, looping effects, things like growing structures, abstract visuals, textile animations, and because it's procedural, everything stays editable. Geometry nodes in Blender 3D excel at motion graphics and effects. They let you build procedural animations that are fast and flexible. This tool turns simple shapes into complex, 
moving designs without manual key framing every part. Geometry nodes create repeating patterns like waves or particles easily. You connect nodes for inputs, changes, and outputs to make meshes move, scale, or fade. This works great for loops, such as bouncing balls or flowing particles. Artists use them for transitions, like text assembling or shapes morphing. Add noise for random effects or index values to offset animations, for instance. Tutorials show quick setups for spirals, magnets, or stacks that animate smoothly. Everything stays editable. You tweak one node to change the whole effect. Blender's free tools match paid software for motion design. Start with basics like grid or circle nodes for shapes, then animate with time or curves. Non-destructive workflows. Here's something professionals love. With geometry nodes, you don't destroy your mesh. Everything is adjustable, even late into the project. Need to change density, scale, spacing? No redoing work. That flexibility alone is a massive upgrade over traditional modeling. This power comes from how nodes work like a visual recipe. You stack modifiers, instancing, distributions, deformations that stack on top of each other, all editable at any time. Adjust the seed for randomness in a forest of trees. Boom, new variation without touching the originals. It's perfect for experimentation, especially in product visualization or environments where you iterate fast. Compared to traditional sculpting or editing, which locks in your decisions destructively, geometry nodes keep your file lightweight and flexible. You can reuse node groups across projects, version control tweaks easily, and even animate parameters for dynamic effects like growing vines. For 3D artists like you grinding daily in Blender, it cuts frustration and boosts creativity, pure efficiency without the mess. Remember that time-saving use case I mentioned earlier? Here it is. Geometry nodes turn repetition into systems. Anything you do more than once should probably be procedural. Once you think this way, your workflow changes completely. You stop asking, how do I model this again? And start asking, how do I build this once? Now here's the exciting part. You don't need to master every node to use geometry nodes effectively. There's a small set of concepts that unlock 80% of its power. I'll break those down next. If this helped you see geometry nodes in a new way, subscribe. This channel is all about practical blender skills that actually level up your work. And if you want a clear geometry nodes learning roadmap, comment nodes below. I'll make sure you get it.